to get around 400 views in the first week on my videos, which is absolutely crazy for a channel of my size. Right. It's all of my tips because why not? Let's all grow together. I don't understand why people wouldn't want to do it. Be honest and keep it real because that is who I am. I'm feeling it. It's a vibe. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to today's video. I feel so professional sitting at my desk. I'm normally at the kitchen sink in my pyjamas and today I am at a desk with my pen and paper. Actually dressed for the day, so I'm feeling it. It's a vibe. Thank you to everybody that has subscribed. I have made it to 200 subscribers and I'm so happy and I just want to share with you what you can do as well to grow your YouTube channel. I've seen so many different channels and so many different videos to try and grow and they're all so basic. Like they don't actually really tell you anything they just kind of waffle on so in this video i am going to give you 10 tips it's what you need to do to be able to grow if you want a part two let me know in the comments below and i'll go into even more detail but these first 10 tips will definitely help you grow and i'll be explaining a little bit more as to why they help you grow rather than just say what it is and move on because sometimes it's not explained very well so I'm going to tell you exactly what it is that you need to do to grow your subscribers and to grow them quickly is what everybody is going to want to know. I post on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday all to do with clean and motivation lifestyle type video so please subscribe and hit the bell down below and leave this video a thumbs up it'll just let me know that you liked it let me know in the comments below if you do want a part two and let's get straight into the video. Tip number one is the thumbnails and I know everyone goes on about thumbnails and you're probably thinking yeah okay it's just a thumbnail. And when I first started I didn't realise how important thumbnails were but they really are important and I would recommend using TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that will help you create your thumbnail if you're not sure how to make it stand out it's a really good tool to use so I definitely recommend getting that. I have actually noticed when I create my own and I create one with TubeBuddy that the video that I've created with TubeBuddy actually gets a lot more views. So I'm just going to explain what I've noticed and why I think that is. The thumbnails that I use that's just a picture of like a room or what whatever I'm cleaning, if it's just a picture of an object with writing over it, it doesn't get as many views if there is my face on it with the, the same picture in the writing but like my face somewhere or me just cleaning somewhere just as long as I'm in the thumbnail it does seem to get a lot more. I've noticed as well on other people's they're always in their thumbnail somewhere even if it's just a small picture of them or if it is them cleaning or something like that and I think that is just because of the human connection like when i'm scrolling through i am more likely myself to click on somebody's thumbnail if i can see them in it i don't know if it's just me that does that but i've noticed and i've noticed on my thumbnails as well my videos that i do get more views if i'm in the thumbnail so try and include yourself nails are very important make sure that they are colorful and bright and just or even if it's just black and white make sure that it stands out from the background and you can actually read what the writing says because that is what's going to grab them initially is the thumbnail before they even know what the video is about so just put a few words on there or you know cleaning motivation if you're a cleaning channel or whatever type of channel you are just put something on there so they know what they're getting and so it stands out as they're scrolling through so many different thumbnails you want yours to like hit them in the face and they'll be like oh that's that's a good one let's see what's Let's see what video that's about. So thumbnails are definitely important. Tip number two is the title. The title again is equally as important as step one. I think all of these need to be done. There's not one tip here that isn't as important. So make sure you watch all the way to the end because you can't just do one or two of these tips. You have to have all of them for it to work. So tip number two is the title. And again, you need something that is just going to grab people's attention. Um, I know a lot of people use clickbait. I don't really use clickbait. I'm not even sure how I would in like a cleaning channel. I, 
I have no idea how that works, but if you want to use clickbait and it works for you, I'd say go for it as long as you actually deliver on what you are saying. So for this video, for instance, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm actually titling this yet, but it's probably going to be something like how to go from zero to 200 subscribers. But that could be classed as a bit clickbaity, but I am delivering the information that you've clicked on for, if that makes sense. Like I am giving you step by step how I did it. So don't say, you know, how to become a millionaire and then just talk about how to make porridge because that's not gonna help anybody. They're gonna click straight off of your video. YouTube's gonna deem it as a really bad video because you're getting the views, but you're not getting the watch time. So that clickbait isn't always worth it unless you actually deliver what you're saying. As long as it's in the video, you can clickbait all you want. Tip number three is the description and the description is so important, which I had no idea when I first started. I was just putting like, hi guys, hope you enjoyed it. That was pretty much it, like, I hope you enjoyed this video. The longer, the better, I can tell you. I didn't realise how important this was, but people are going to your description to find stuff out, which I didn't really think about to start with, but people are going to go to your description to see if you've got any of the videos, to see when you post, to see if you've got social media. So all of that information has to be in your description. Make sure you add as much information into your description as possible. Make sure you've got links to other sites if you've got a blog or if you've got, you know, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if you've got all of them, make sure they're all in your description. You never put too much information in your description because if people don't want to read it, they don't have to. But if they're looking for that information, it is there for them. So don't think that your description is too long. Just think the longer, the better. Tip number four is the tags. The tags, again, really important. Again, TubeBuddy can really help you with this. TubeBuddy can help you with every aspect. It will literally tell you everything about your channel. If you don't want to get TubeBuddy for whatever reason, try and look up other YouTubers in the same area as you and in the same like niche as you so you can see what hashtags they use. Don't just copy and paste what they do. That is not what you want to do at all. Some of them might not be relatable and you need to make sure you only use tags in your videos that are relatable to your video. And make sure you use all of the tags that YouTube allow. I think it's 30 that they let you use. So make sure you use all of them. It will let you know if you go over so you don't have to worry about that. But don't only add like two or three and think, oh, that's okay, I've added what I need to add. Make sure you actually add all 30 because there's just 30 more opportunities for somebody to find your channel and there you go. So tags are definitely important. Number five is the playlist. I mentioned briefly earlier that your description needs to be long and there needs to be other links. So make a playlist, copy and paste it all into your description. If you don't know how to make a playlist, there are so many tutorials already on YouTube. So just look it up. They'll tell you step by step how to do it. If you would like me to make a tutorial, just leave in the comments what you would like me to do, what you'd like me to let you know how to do if you are struggling setting your YouTube channel up or anything. Just let me know, I'm more than happy to help. Once you've made your playlist, copy and paste it into your description. I've got so many different playlists because I do individual rooms mainly. So I've got like a kitchen clean, a bathroom clean, living room clean. But some people are gonna want to just binge watch which is fantastic if you binge watch my channel thank you so much that does help me out more than you realize if somebody wants to just binge watch my bathroom clean with me is they are all there and they'll go on the playlist and then youtube will just automatically keep playing and um, like all of the videos one after the other so you haven't got to click out of them clicking them they don't have to search for anything everything is in the description of every single video so everything that they need is right there. Playlists are super, super important. That is something that YouTube will pick up on as well if you have playlists. And if you do have playlists, YouTube will try and push those for you. So it all does come together and YouTube does know if you are using all of the facilities that it is given you. And it will definitely favor your channel if you do use everything. Tip number six is the cards. And again, this is something I didn't do when I first started a YouTube. I sort of just started and then 
learn as I went along, which is why it's taken a little bit longer. So that's why I am giving you what I've learned over the last few months so you don't have to struggle figuring it all out. It's all just here for you. So cards are the little eye that you can have above, I'm not sure which side it'll be on, probably this side, um, but it comes up as a little eye and just a white little bar across the top of the video and it recommends other videos throughout. You can have up to five cards in each video. If you've got a long video, say 15, 20 minutes, then I'd say you can add all five, but I wouldn't add all five if you've only got sort of a three or four minute video because you don't want to annoy the people that are watching your video. I'd say do one every sort of five minutes or something like that. Don't bombard it over and over again. So many tutorials here on YouTube that will tell you exactly how to use the cards and how to put them in. But once you have uploaded your video, the information will be on the right and it will just say cards in a little box. So you just click on that and then it will literally talk you through step by step what to do. Whereas me, just ignored that little button when I first started and I didn't really didn't really do anything with it. So definitely, again, utilize everything that YouTube gives you. It's there for a reason and it really does help. Tip number seven is the end screen. So when you finish watching a video, it always comes up with a little box recommending another video at the end. That is your end screen. You can add a few. I usually just add one, sometimes I add two. Depends how I feel, but I always at least add one. Usually the recently uploaded before the one that I'm obviously uploading to let other people know that I do have more content and they can click on that rather than having to click on my channel and go through it that way. They can just click it at the end of the video because it's so much easier for people to do. End screens are equally as important as cards, so make sure you use both of those and that would really help push other videos, get your watch time up, which then in turn, YouTube will push more videos, more subscribers, and your channel grows doing it that way. Number eight, this is something that I struggled with quite a bit, but tip number eight is to plan ahead and be more organized. And when I first started my channel, I had no idea what I was gonna post each week. Where now I've got, usually I've got about a week filmed and uploaded or at least filmed and edited mostly filmed and uploaded ready to go public on the right day rather than film edit upload on the same day if that happens i'm running behind <laughs> but i still make sure i upload every tuesday thursday sunday so it's so much easier when you stick to a schedule when you plan it all out which is what this bad boy is for i am going to upload on those days and then i'm also filming on the thursday and the friday so it's all just written down so i remember <laughs> that I have to film. So I keep it all written down with the title of each video so I know exactly what video gets uploaded on what day. And it just makes it so much easier if I know what I'm gonna be filming for the following week or even just a few days. If you can't do a week in advance, just a couple of days. If anything goes wrong whilst filming and I can't film over the weekend, I can pick it back up Monday and there's still time. But if I was filming Tuesdays on Monday and something went wrong, there wouldn't be an upload on Tuesday and that would be horrible I would hate to do that to you I do try now to do it a little bit in advance I did used to do it the day before and sometimes I was actually filming editing and uploading on the same day which was just mental and I don't know why I did that plan ahead and be organized is definitely worth doing Tip number nine is to be consistent so this ties in with the plan ahead because you want to be consistent you want your subscribers to know that you're going to post. So I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. You don't have to post three times a week. You can only post once a week if you want to, or twice a week, or four times a week, whatever you want. And you don't have to be as specific as certain days of the week. You can just say you post one video every week. Subscribers will know that you will be uploading, they'll know that new content will be coming from you at some point during the week. If you only post two times a week for a few weeks and then once a week, then 
none for a couple of weeks and then again two weeks. If it's all over the place, nobody is gonna know when you have posted. So when you do post, a lot of your videos are gonna get no views anyway because they're not gonna have expected you to post. If you haven't posted in weeks, they're not gonna know that you've posted, so nobody's gonna see it. That's why I always ask you to turn the bell on. Click all, because it is optional. You can have the bell on and still not get the notifications. So if you click the bell and then click all, it'll just let you know when I post, which is really handy. So being consistent definitely does make all the difference because I wasn't consistent when I first started. I didn't stick to a schedule. Sometimes it was three times a week, sometimes it was once a week, sometimes it was four times a week it was like every day it was just all over the place if it ever changes i will let you know again because i want my subscribers i want all of you to know when i post so you can come and watch i wouldn't just drop a day without telling you and i wouldn't just add a day without telling you so anything that i want to say i will let you all know i am going to be very transparent on this page hence why i'm giving away all of my tips because why not let's all grow together i don't understand why people wouldn't want to do this so i'm just going to be completely honest and keep it real because that is who i am you can't just be consistent for two or three weeks that isn't going to be enough you have to be consistent constantly consistent through the months not just oh well i've posted the same day for three weeks that's not going to get people enough to remember what day that was something consistent has to be over time and i think that is definitely helping my channel helping me grow because people know when i'm going to post youtube also pushes more of your videos if it knows that you post regularly if you don't post regularly then youtube isn't going to pick you up as a creator it's not going to push your videos because it isn't going to think that you're here all the time if that makes sense youtube algorithm will pick you up if you post all the time because it will keep seeing your name over and over and over again and then it will start pushing your content but that takes time so be patient and just post regularly <laughs> tip number 10 is a very important tip tip number 10 is to be yourself so many people are going to be like, well, I am myself, which is brilliant. But a lot of people pick up little habits from the YouTubers they watch and they try and become them because sometimes they think, well, it's working for them. So if I just copy them, then I'll be successful too. And it doesn't work like that because there's already one of them, which is why they're successful. YouTubers already pick them up and they are successful. So who's going to watch your channel if they're only watching because you're like them when they could just watch them if that makes sense be yourself not everybody is gonna love you the people that do love you are the people that you want you know so you can't please everybody so don't try and become somebody else because again you still can't please everybody doing that and it'll just make you a lot happier if you're yourself have your own sense of humor put your own flair to it and just have fun that is what it's all about if you're not enjoying it then your subscribers will know that you're not enjoying it and why are you doing it if you're not enjoying it you know so make sure that you are having fun with it and just be yourself so those are my top 10 tips on how to grow on youtube they have definitely helped me grow my channel and i'm really hoping that they help you grow yours as well like i said my channel is steadily going up now it is so exciting to see the different numbers to see especially on the watch time and how many visitors i get per day i absolutely love seeing that i love seeing it grow and it is so exciting to see my channel evolve and to just like dream of where it could be in a year or two years time is just everything to me right now i absolutely love it and i absolutely love all of you for supporting me and subscribing I started to get around 400 views in the first week on my videos which is absolutely crazy for a channel of my size i hope it helps you as well so don't forget to leave a comment down below if you'd like me to do a part two because these were the basics of what you absolutely fundamentally need to do to grow your youtube channel i am able to do a part two and go into even more detail if you want me to so don't forget to leave a comment please subscribe to my channel click the bell and leave this a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one